came in the mail today. This is the Battle Across Time Collection Sideswipe Earth Mode and Maximal Sky Warp. Um, it's a very slight retool. Uh, I haven't even opened the box yet. I want to look at the box first because I noticed something about my box. So, you know, you've got the, the awesome Kingdom artwork. You've got a little side piece over here. <laughs> side piece of Scorponok over here. Back of the box. Steps pictures the side with the awesome artwork but i'm wondering if anyone else's looks like the box is faded like i don't save boxes so i'm not that worried about it but this box looks and i know my lighting's always crappy like you can see this ring light oops over here uh you can probably see my shadow but i opened this and i said okay the print there looks about right but this looks oddly faded or lighted, lightened, or I, I don't know. I can't tell what's wrong with it, but it doesn't look right. You know, if I look at some of the other boxes, which the only one I actually have handy right now is another ARC box, but the color doesn't look right. Like, everything looks kind of... It, the box almost looks like a knockoff. It almost looks like a reprinted box, and I don't understand that. Well, let's open them up and take a look. So, cracked open the box, and I just wanted to show off how they're doing the packaging. Um, you can see, a little, it's taped right there, but to kind of show the, or to conform to the shape of the box. There's no plastic. Little tape. Eh, these ties are made of paper. Tie here, tie here, tie here, tie here. Ties on the weapons. Ties across his belly and his arms and his legs. Across his wings, through it, through his hands, which I think is kind of cool. Lots of untying. All right. All right, now out of the packaging, you can take a look at robot mode. So this is just the Earthrise car mode uh, mold that they use for this and Red Alert, I think. Um, if I'm wrong, put something in the comments section. I need more comments, go comment. Every time I'm wrong, place a comment, I don't mind. So. Um, they did some things again that I don't like, so I do not like when they paint white over black because they don't do a very good job. If you look at the gun, it looks sloppy. It looks like overspray more than anything else. It doesn't look like it was ever, it was painted that way. It looks like somebody did a hack job at home with a can of Krylon spray paint and I hate it. Molded white plastic, fine. If you're going to take black past plastic and paint something white, do it better. I just, I don't like it. I just don't like the way Hasbro, maybe it's their machines or however they spray things, but I just don't like it. It just, it leaves these weird, like, the feet are the same way. Like, that's not shadows. That's where the paint's so thin you see the black underneath it. Why? Anyway, so if you take a look at the real, the draw really here is is probably going to be everyone to Skywarp. Skywarp being the maximal version from Beast Wars. And he is just a very, very, very slightly retooled version of um, Air Razor. Being the bird head and his head. And I couldn't find any other differences. And it's different paint, of course. They made him look more an eagle, so he's brown and white. A little bit of... Uh, you know, different shades of brown, white... And really just a yellow beak. And that's really the only color that you get on him. I like it. I think it looks cool. I think the head sculpt looks really cool. It's a little weird that he has two bird heads. It's actually really weird because... If I remember right, there were pictures of Air Razor in... I don't remember if it was catalog... That I was looking at, or if it was a website I was looking at, where they had it transformed into like a weird half bird, half robot mode. And I'm going to see if I can do that with this one, where the bird head is flipped up and you don't see the robot head. And I feel like if they would have made that the transformation and then made the bird head open and have the robot head inside the mouth, that would have been cool. Even if it was a little wonky looking, uh, it still would have been cooler than having two bird heads right here. At least Air Razor didn't have two bird heads. And we'll compare them here in a moment. So, here's robot mode. You get all the standard articulation. 
you got shoulders and elbows and no uh, no wrist. Uh, you get a little bit of up and down wrist, if that counts. Uh, you get all the flexiness. You get this little extra hinge here for the bird mode. You can have the wings out if you want them. You can tuck them in. You can fold them back if you wanted to uh, do that. You could do that. I kind of like them just kind of half back like this. Um, they didn't. They didn't even paint the weapons. They just made the weapons white. At least with their razor. Ah, at least with their razor, the weapons are are gold. And at least they're white plastic, and they're not painted white black guns, which is terrible. And I don't mean for this whole thing to sound all complainy. I just when I opened the box and I saw the black gun that's painted white, I was like, oh god, here we go again. And is this piece here is black plastic painted white. This piece here looks like it's red plastic painted white. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but you can kind of tell. That's what I'm talking about. They paint things terribly. Why didn't you just mold this white? Like, I can see the red. Why? Why? Just why? All right, let's transform these guys. All right, here's alt mode and beast mode. So transformation is exactly the same. Here you get the, the eagle. Uh, the mouth does open and close. It is really hard to do because he's so teeny tiny. And the way you have to do it is there's this little square right here. If you put your fingernail on it, you can push it open. Don't try to pry anything in there. I almost scratched the paint. Um, you get that. Yeah, here, look. Who Harley Quinn the back of his head? Who thought that was an acceptable paint job for a part that you're going to see whenever you transform this thing? Or whenever you're moving it around and playing with it? You know, it's not something that's like 100% hidden all the time. That's just annoying. And again, their white painting sucks. I'm surprised this doesn't just look brown like it does underneath it. So there you know, there's the, the silhouette of the bird. Back. You get a little bit of gold on the talons. There's the uh see and then car mode. I don't I don't like weapon storage, but it's I'm showing it to you. I personally I kinda I hate the way they store the weapons on these things. Like I would rather just not store the weapons. There's car mode. I think so. Yeah, trying to cover it up because I'm gonna complain about it. Ah, I'm bumping the camera. So I like the way they designed the windows. I think they they, they should have just made the windows black because the inside of that looking like that has no real purpose. There's no reason it should look like that. They should have just made the windows black. The way that they do the outline of the windows is cool, but the actual wind, like the windshield looking like that is garbage. That's straight up garbage. Wheels look good, same wheels. Back, you've got the tail lights. I don't, I don't think I've ever done lined up. Hold on, there we go. The tail lights. Wheels. The red matches pretty well. It's a little bit off, but not that bad. It's nowhere near bad as Sunstreaker. Front end looks great. Autobot symbol. I'm not a fan of the way they do these, and they, they always have this piece a different color. I'm really not a fan of this, but is what it is. Rolls. So there's alt modes. I mean, you've seen the cars before. You've seen the bird before. I, I don't know. Let's take a look at them next to some of their friends in robot mode. Okay, here we go. Here's our comparisons. So if you... The only thing really different... Color, their color, yes, that's different. But the sculpts, the accessories, everything is the same except for the heads. Uh, but with the Walgreens red alert, uh, the gun, the black gun is black. The uh, red missile is actually red. It's not painted. It's actually red. The only place that they did the stupid white on any other color thing is down here on his legs. If you look at the bottom of his feet. Um, everything else is pretty much only painted the way it needed to be painted. His waist being red. Um, oops. The waist being red and the black over that, at least red covers black. 
so that's not nearly as bad. Again, the flaws. Now, if you look at Air Razor, now I was wrong. Air Razor sort of, and I'll do a separate review on Air Razor, but like the, her head doesn't actually look like the bird head. And if they would have done something more like that, that would have been cool. But at least the gun or the weapons are a different color than some of, you know, there's some artistic measures taken with the weapons to make them stand out but not clash. Whereas his weapons are just white on white on brown on brown on brown on white. And a splash of yellow. So there's the comparisons. Um, we compare it to something else. Let's go with the most colorful butt I have because I love this thing. Uh, here's... There's G2 Ramjet. And, uh... Here's, here's Trax. And, uh... Uh, who else? Who else am I going to put in here? Oh, damn it. Will you get out? Will you get out. Interrupting dinosaur. All right, let's let's see. Uh, do I think the pack is worth it? Maybe. I don't actually know because I even considered not buying the pack, and the only reason I really did was because you know it, it would be cool to have two birds, and I, I really I did want uh, another sideswipe. So having the Earth mode sideswipe is cool. Having the other bird modes cool, but could you live without them? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we've gotten a couple different versions of Sideswipe already. So, you know, there's the Netflix version, the regular version. Um, the Earth mode version being in a two pack is kind of not really fair to make Sideswipe, who is just you know a main, main, main line character, uh, to put him in a two pack with maximal sky warp. Eh, that's kind of cheap. You know, that, that's... I'm not going to say lazy. It's Hasbro. They know what they're doing. They're getting us to spend money and spend more money. But eh, this is messed up. That never should have been a thing. These two shouldn't have been in a, a two-pack. There's no reason for it. Skywarp's not in Kingdom, the, the show. So that's why it's not a Netflix label. Um, I'm sure they could have put him in the show too. Netflix labeled him... Had this be the toy with the main line, had that, that been the Netflix exclusive, and that would have made more sense. Or done it vice versa. Netflix exclusive in the show. Main line figure, or a Generation Selects. Probably a Generation Selects. Having them in one of these crossover packages, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I mean, I bought it. Because, duh. But, not a fan. So, do I think you need it? It's up to you. Can you live without it? Absolutely. We've got enough uh, side swipes to go around. Having another one is cool, but unless you're really, really, really just trying to go for those G1 alt modes, fine. I can see a lot of people picking this up, and I have seen a lot of people picking these up and then selling off the Beast ones. You know, people are selling the Grimlock and selling the the, uh, the, the side the Skywarp. Um, I think the only reason I really even got it was just because I like Decepticon Skywarp. I'm still trying to justify this to myself, let's be real. So, if you like what you see, uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, take a look in the description below for the Etsy store and the shirt merch. And I will see everybody at TFCon this year in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. If I see somebody in one of my uh, shirts that you can get off of Teespring, um, I'm going to have some limited edition rollers to give out to everybody, but there's more information. Uh, I believe that is going to be in the description below. Did a whole video about that. So, there you go. Have an awesome night.